Hornaday's caught Chuck Bound. Oh, man, they've been beating on each other for a couple of laps. Let's see what's going to happen here now. Hornaday has been all over Chuck Bound. Hit him going into turn four. Again, coming off of turn five, but he still couldn't make the pass. That's kind of feisty. When they started hitting, he started hitting me. Easy, man. <laughs> well, Hornaday, we saw him try to make the pass in the grass down there at turn one. Now Bound's able to pull away a little bit. But here comes Hornaday back. He had a big run on Chuck Bound and actually got down in the grass. This is for sixth place. That roof cam is wonderful there. That really is what it looks like. If you were in that truck racing right now, trying to catch Chuck Bound, this is what it looks like. If you turn into the turn four there, you can see they both accelerate out towards the front straight away. Great camera shot. Fourteen laps to go. And here's Hornaday. He has the measure of Chuck Bound down into turn four. That Bound's going to try to come back on the inside. <laughs> we saw that move earlier today. Yeah. Hornaday tried it on spray. Oh, Take it together. Contact. But Bound gets the best of. Here comes Hornaday back. Go well, at it, guys. This is fun. <laughs> that's the one he tried on Jack Spray. He couldn't make it work. Oh, there. a little touch there. He's got him just a little bit loose. He turned him loose long enough for him to get control. Oh, he's oh. gone. Hornaday is gone, taking Stacy Compton. And the rest of the field tries to squeeze by. I don't think Dan Press made it through. And, of course, the caution will come out. A little uh, flame here coming out of Hornaday's truck, but once you cranked it up, that'll go away. He and Chuck Bowne were racing hard, and one of those bits of contact coming out of turn three put Hornaday around. You can see Hornaday trying to get it to move right now. No good yet. It's just starting to move down the back straightaway. Tremendous amount of damage to the number 16 truck of Hornaday. And you saw on that shifter, they had a cap on that shifter. I don't think you'll need that for victory lane today. Mike, that was a wreck. It took a half a lap to develop. They were hitting and banging and pushing and shoving. You knew it had to happen. I'd say five laps. They, <laughs> they were really going at it. Uh -oh. Those two guys were. Let's see what his thoughts are. Well, They're coming well, I here. wouldn't run across the traffic. I'd kind of stay uh -huh. near my truck. Now, these trucks don't have brake lights. I think it's a good thing because when Bound was there just ahead of Ron Hornaday, there are several things each driver can do to cause or avoid contact. And only the two drivers know for sure what happened. But the defending champion of this series, 10th in the points coming into this race, will have his third DNF of the year. Andy Hornaday looking on that Ron is okay. And the crew wants to see the replays, and we know you do too. Let's have a look at them. Okay, tries to move on the inside bound. They make contact right there. They're banging together. Okay. Here they are again. See Stacy Compton just behind Hornaday. Hornaday checks up. He gets rear-ended there. That turns him sideways. Stacy Compton, where does Reigns go in the 19 Pennzoil truck? You can see him to the inside, barely missing that wreck. But Compton gets caught up in it. And they're trying to go around, just oh. barely tagging him. There, is. there you can see the contact being made, but Chuck Bound hangs on. There he hits him again, but he gets hit from the back then and spins Hornaday around. There you saw Dan Press. He did get by, just barely. We were all over this, folks. Another angle here. <laughs> you can see it was already sideways when that one took place as Hornaday got tapped from behind by Stacy Compton. It was just good, close racing. Compton had somebody on his back bumper, so, you know, yeah. he had to go. He had Tony Raines right there. I tell you, Tony Raines come through there, not one scratch on that truck. That was amazing driving by Raines. I'll show you one more look at it. Wow. Yeah, it's Stacy Compton was trying, number 86 there, was trying to keep up his momentum because if he let off the gas, Tony Raines would have spun Absolutely. him. Too many trucks and nowhere to go. Nine laps to go. Don't worry, folks. They'll finish this one under green and we'll be there. <laughs> yeah, very nice, folks. Very nice. Wow. 
10 lap rule. He did that I just did, Joshua. and I will again. I'll, I'll, I'll reiterate the rule. Yes. Look at Compton's front veil. It's actually broken, too. Yep. Fourth time in the last five races that Hornaday's finished out of the top 20. Our camera crew right that was here. Great bonus. Oh, great man. camera work. Good work, man. Spot that nice. before it started to happen, too. A nice replay yeah, tape, folks. Get, guys, did they get the ambulance? Do we know? Who? Did those drivers get into the ambulance? Did they go to the hospital? Hornaday was walking around back yeah, then. Compton went on back into the pit. Oh, Compton's back on the racetrack. Compton's back yeah. on the racetrack. Yeah. It was just Hornaday and Ralph. I don't know. He, he walked away from his truck and walked I think back he got the record. All right. I don't know. I'll check with his wife. I see her coming. Okay. We're in the garage area, Ben. Yeah, I, I see you. We uh, well, we were doing replays. I don't saw where they took them. Full gleam now. This is this is a Mike Bliss racetrack now. Well, well yeah, maybe. Time. Maybe. Huh? I don't think he has enough time. No. He's got to get by Joe Rutman. That's going to take almost the rest of this race. Folks, if I don't see you after, boy, great shots, great mm -hmm. replays. Very, very nice. Thank you. Good work. Look great. Welcome back to Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Seven laps to go. Mike Joy with Buddy Baker and Ned Jarrett. Today started great for Ron Hornaday in a big presentation. He and his team got championship rings, but now he's on the sideline. There's the presentation for Bob McKenna, president of Napa Auto Parts, to Ron and his entire 1996 championship winning team. But now he has his fourth out of the top 20 finish in his last five races. Ralph. Ron, a frustrating way to end what was a positive day for you. What happened? Uh, just all started when we got down on that uh, first caution. You know, we did we did pit and selected not to. Thought we'd run out for the mileage we were getting, but uh, Napa Chevrolet was running good. Got up underneath Chuck Bowen, and uh, Renfro didn't wait for me, so he got a bad habit of that. So I really like the kid trying to help him out. He's done. He ain't going to get no help from Ron Hornaday no more. Said Renfro, I believe he meant uh, Stacy Compton. Yeah. But as we saw from the replays, Compton had a bumper full of Tony Reigns right behind him. Wasn't much room for anybody to go there.